Hello everybody. So this is the June Paper Pumpkin Kit and it is called One in a Melon. Super cute as always. You get all the supplies you need to make six cards and uh, four bags. You also get the envelopes for the little cards. Um, you get everything you need except for scissors and, and an acrylic block. I forgot to say that in my last um, video. Your very, very first kit will come with like a, a small block, but after that you have to use your own blocks. Um, so this one should be relatively quick. I went ahead and did stamping because I film on my iPhone. I don't have a regular uh, like vlogging camera, um, so I'm limited on my time. Um, this is the stamp set that you get in the June 2017 kit. And of course, since I've already stamped, they're already stained up. Um, on my tag, I used I used this right here. So it's a two-step stamp. You can get the, the rind and then the watermelon, or you can use the word sweet. And so what I did was I used the sentiment a little something sweet, but I just masked off the sweet whenever I was inking it up so that it says a little something sweet. So normally in the kit you'll get a small little ink pad, a stampin' spot. This kit came with both. It came with Melon Mambo and Emerald Envy. It came with some glue dots. It comes with the mini dimensionals, some twine and some little paper clips. Now I like to save these little pieces and I just use my regular, my full size stamp pads, my own glue dots, and my dimensionals. So let's get started, shall we? Since I won't need that, I'll put it off the side. And like I said, you get all the supplies you need. It'll come in this little um, wrapped up kit inside of a box. And it comes with your directions. This little pamphlet opens up and it gives you your directions. So, first off, let's get situated. Let me get this twine out. Acrylic nails kind of get in the way sometimes. I think no, I don't. I was say, I think I have Melon Mambo twine, but I don't. I have coral. I have Calypso coral, and I think I have Emerald Envy. I have some kind of a green. Um, Alright, so we start out by stamping our banner and a sentiment on the envelope, which I'm not going to do because I don't know what sentiment I'm going to want on it. So I've already stamped Hooray on that. And then we are going to add our leaf stickers to our yellow watercolor square. So they have a couple on there. wrap with twine and tie in a bow. Alright, I don't know if I can get them on there the way they have them, but it's supposed to be your own creation anyway, right? sticking out. I think they are. Hmm. I think that that would cause some problems because they're sticky. That's okay. We'll see. All right, and then we're gonna wrap around here. I have to do my bows upside down.
I have ink all over my hands from my previous one, my previous paper pumpkin chit. Okay, I want it over here toward the end. Man, I really struggle with bows. And I watch everybody's tutorials, I'm like, oh, that's a good idea, and that's a good idea, and I just can't seem to do it myself. Can you hear my dog in there drinking? Like, I hear the, the water jug going glug, glug, glug. Okay. Try and pretty this up. I can always fix the bow later, but I want it to be somewhat presentable right now. Okay, there we go. And then it says okay, so wrap around, tie a bow. Use dimensionals to adhere the banner to the watercolor piece and the watercolor piece to the card base. I think I'm going to adhere the card base first. So this is a cute little card. Pineapples and watermelons. Oh my goodness. Can you hear my neighbors upstairs? Just walking around. So we are going to use some dimensionals. These are super, super tiny. Oh my goodness. Is it raised up? Is the car, yeah, it is. Okay. I think I'm gonna use my regular dimensions for this. I don't know why you would use your mini ones. Cause I mean, it's a good size card. And unless the minis are thinner, no, same size. I'm super excited about those minis. They are awesome. I love Stampin' Up's dimensionals because they're the, just the perfect thickness. Okay, so we're gonna add this right here. And then the banner comes scored so that you can, oh, well, if you're not like me, I'm sure you'll, you'll probably have an easy time with it. Okay. Use dimensionals to adhere banner to watercolor piece and water piece to the card base. I don't know if I'm supposed to, oh, you know what? I bet that's why you have the minis. Oh, man. Okay, those aren't going to come off, but I'll just leave them there. So if I take the minis and put them here, then, whoops, I just took the backing off of one. These are super duper tiny. So now I can just take my little backings off 
and let them fly all over. And well, my bow is in the way. I think I'll just stick it right here. Under the, yeah, I like that. And then your banner like pops up. Like there's a lot of space in there. I like it. So that is my card. Where am I at? I'm at 10 minutes. So you get enough supplies to make six of these little cards. Sometimes you get supplies to make six like different cards, like three designs, two of each card, something like that. And in this one, you get this cute little bag. So I don't know if I want to assemble this bag. You, you get the stuff to assemble these little bags. And it even comes with this watermelon um, tissue paper. Oh! And there's an extra score line in the bag so that you can fold it flat. So because of my time and everything, I'm you know, my time limit. I'm not going to adhere the bag. It just, it comes up to this cute little bag. But, you can make this cute little banner card. You can adhere some twine in this little tag. And adhere this, no, oh, that's the bottom. You just put your little banner on here and you attach your little tag with this little paper clip and oh my god it's gonna be so cute I really need to get a proper camera Isn't that so fun? Oh my gosh. Now, look, now I'm like, oh, maybe I should make this. So it already comes with like that adhesive on the bottom. That's what your bag would look like. Oh, I love it. You can just put some little twine on there. And it's a little gift bag. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for joining me for another crazy little video, and I will talk to you next time. If you would like to um, subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you can go to my site, madforpigs.stampinup.net. It's M-A-D, the number four, P-I-G-S, madforpigs.stampinup.net. And then there will be a little link on there to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. And as always, you can shop for my shopping page. Talk to you guys later. Bye.